name is Lady Barbara Judge, and I'm chairman of the UK Atomic Energy Authority. And I've been asked to give my vision for 2020. So I thought about it. And if you think about the world now, at the present moment, 20% of the world's energy, approximately, comes from nuclear power. But if we keep decommissioning our power plants as they go out of use at the rate we're going now, by 2020, only 2% of the world's power would come from nuclear. And there is that 18%. And nobody's told me that we need 18% less power by 2020 than we have now. Now, there is a lot of conversation about how we could fill the gap with renewables. And renewables are a good idea. But with respect, no matter how worthy renewables are, the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. And frankly, there's a big problem with storage at the moment and with transferability, with getting the energy where you want it to be. So we should keep working on renewables. We should try to prove the technology. But actually, we have proven technology in nuclear. It's proven, and indeed, it's improven. And so nuclear of today is much, much more effective and safer and better than nuclear of 10, 15, 50 years ago. So the other thing is that nuclear attacks the three problems that we have to deal with in sector. Energy security. Do we have enough energy? Energy independence. Where does it come from? And climate change, which we clearly have to attack. And nuclear, if you build a big nuclear power station, you get energy that is as much as you can build in your own country and that doesn't emit carbon, which is the most important thing for this point of view. So you think to yourself, okay, well we need to, how do we do that? Well, with the government backing, and I believe that there are a lot of countries in the world that are talking about that, with government backing and help in finance in one way or another, there are reports that say that if we start it now, we could get to 20% by 2020. We could even get to 30, some people say, or 40%. But it's expensive. Building a nuclear power plant is a big infrastructure product, project. And it needs support. It needs support from financiers, it needs some support from governors, governments, and it needs support from the political constituency. But what are the benefits? Many, many jobs. There's a big skill shortage in nuclear at the moment. We create jobs, we educate a generation, and we keep our older generations, the older nuclear technologists who were around 50 years ago, those with gray hair, we give them a new life because the old ones can teach the young ones. And we have a source of energy that for 2020 would be its base load generation. It's, it makes sure that every time you lot, turn on the lights, they go on. And they go on in a carbon-free way. But nuclear is not the answer. It is an answer. It is part of the answer. The whole mix has to be on the table for us to even survive to 2020. We're going to need oil, gas, coal, renewables, and nuclear. We can't afford not to consider all sources of energy in order to meet the daily needs of the populations as they're growing. But the major point is that nuclear must be there, have a strong place and a strong position if we're going to make that goal by 2020. And I guess that's my goal for 2020, that we have all forms of energy, but that nuclear has a strong and important share because it delivers baseload generation carbon-free.